The product Simple Green comes in two forms. It comes in a concentrated form and a ready-to-use form. For this cleaning of records, we're going to use the concentrated form, and we're going to use the ratio 1 to 30. That means two cups of water and one ounce or two tablespoons of Simple Green. So as you see here, I have the concentrated Simple Green that I bought from Amazon. And also we have some distilled water. And I have a couple of bowls here and each of these bowls uh, has a purpose. Uh, one is going to hold the water and then the other is going to hold the solution or the, um, the ratio of the Simple Green and the water. And we have our measuring spoons right there. And I also have some microfiber towels, which are very important. And I have uh, this great lint-free towel that I got from Amazon. I'll have those links below. And I have just a simple white t-shirt that's clean that I've, you know, ripped up and, and I use it to clean my records. So we're going to be cleaning the record from Steely Dan Asia from 1977. I recently got this at a garage sale, and every time I see this record, I just want to buy it because I think it just needs to have a home. So I have my towel laid out, and I'm going to put my record on top of that towel. Now I'm going to pour just some distilled water in one of my bowls, and I'm going to take one of my microfiber towels, and I'm going to just put it in there to damp it just a little bit, and I'm going to kind of wring it out just a little bit then I'm going to start just wiping down any debris or grease or dust and fingerprints that may be on the record and just go over it um, and be sure to follow the grooves as much as you can and do this until you feel like the record is is pretty much clean with the water alone now I'm going to make the solution which includes um, the simple green and the distilled water. So I'm going to use two cups of distilled water and this ratio doesn't have to be perfect. You know, I don't even fill the water up all the way to the top of uh, the measuring cup, but you can see that I'm using uh, about two cups of water, distilled water that is. And then I'm going to use um, the concentrated simple green and I'm just going to put about two tablespoons. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, just do the best you can. And after you do that, you're going to mix it up just a little bit, you know, so that everything is mixed in good. And I promise you, you all, when you use this and clean your records, they're going to sound good. They're going to look good. And you're going to be very surprised. I was completely surprised. And this particular method is mentioned in um, on the Billboard webpage, and it's also mentioned on the Simple Green website. So I'm going to dip one of my microfiber towels into the solution and kind of wring it out and just go round and round following the grooves on the record. And try not to get any of the solution on the label, but just go round and round and very gently. You don't have to be really rough with it. Just go round and round and round and round. And then, you know, you can go the other way and just take your time. When you have one of those days off when, you know, there's nothing to do and maybe it's kind of a rainy day and you just want to do something, you want to clean some records and this is just a great way to relax and, and to get everything off your mind. Cleaning records for me really calms me down. Okay, now I'm going to take um, the microfiber towel that I originally used for water. I'm going to put some more water on there and wring it out a little bit. And I'm going to wipe down that solution that I just put on. You don't want to leave any of that uh, simple green solution on there. So I'm just wiping it down again, following the grooves, and then I'm going to use either this lint-free towel or the, the cotton towel or the cotton rag that I've made from a t-shirt. I like to use this, the cotton uh, white t-shirt. To me, it just, it cleans or it just dries it better. And 
when you do this, you can really tell that it's clean as you begin to keep drying off the water. It just seems to feel very smooth, and it's like you're buffing your car with wax or something, you know. And you just go round and round and be sure to get into the dead zone of the record and just really wipe it down and you'll begin to feel that smoothness like like it, like you're waxing it. It feels really, really good. You can really tell that you're cleaning the record. And again, this is a very, very relaxing activity for me. I don't know how you feel about it, but cleaning records for me is very relaxing. And once that is really dry and you can really feel that it it feels buffed. Just look at that. <laughs> that to me is a clean record that's ready to play. It's shining and it just looks great. And it's going to sound great as well. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Let's get a, a closer look. Oh man. And it sounds so good, y'all. It took away a lot of the pops and the, the hisses and things. And wow, this is a great way to clean your records. I highly recommend using simple green with distilled water and use the ratio of one to 30. And you can also put it in a little spray bottle and, and use it for light cleaning. But this is what I would call the deep cleaning method. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye, everybody.